Uh, congratulations on your win. How did it feel fighting in Australia in front of this in front of this crowd in a back and forth battle? Yeah, thank you very much for all the cover. Uh, it was really nice. Like my coach told me, like the crowd in Australia is pretty exciting, and I really like when the crowd is get get nuts because it make me feel like I'm fighting for them. You know, like obviously every fighter has his own reason for fighting. You know, I have I'm a dad for two kids, so. Obviously, I fight for the better living of my kids, but when the crowd give us some love, I'm like, shit, they have to go in there and throw. And that's how I feel today, you know? The first round, I feel like win. The second round, he won it. Like, he got on top a little bit, he was cracking me. But I was I, I was waiting for my opportunity to to get, get, get the job done. So in the third round, my coach told me, hey, show me how much you want this. I don't want you after the fight be like, oh, I could, I, I, I could do better. And you know, Colin Oyama is, is a legend in the sport. He got Ron Jackson back in the day. He got Rico Rodriguez. He got Tito Ortiz. Right now he have Ian McCall, Carlos Parza. So when my manager bring me to this gym, I'm, I'm grateful with these people. These people give me good training, give me love, give me a place to live. And I'm just happy with, with the process. From London, from my last fight in London to now, I feel this change in our, the change on me is amazing. I feel I'm a completely different fighter. I used to fight trying to survive. Right now, I was fighting. I was looking the guy in the eyes, and I was like, I will go in there and I will and I will fight for my for my life. I will fight for my win. And and in the third round, I show I want it more. I don't get crazy when I knock him down because you know sometimes you get crazy. You can get caught in the guillotine or something. I just take my time. I was like, if it's a decision, I will accept that. If it's a I was I was I was trying to finish the whole time, you know. Like I did, I told him in my interview when I when I see the blood, I'm like a shark. I just go in there and try to give my best, and I don't get tired, so I can fight for days. <laughs> you oh, mentioned oh, you, you mentioned you're a father of two, and and after the fight you're very emotional, uh, shown there in the octagon. How far how far does, how much does this win mean to you? in your personal life with your family, knowing with your daughter as well, with, with the difficulties you've had in your life and your daughter's yeah, life? It, it means a lot for me, you know. My daughter, everybody knows what happened with my daughter. She has a syndrome called Mobius. So basically, she's not going to die. So when I, I always try to explain, because sometimes when you say surgery, could be the life and risk. No, she's, she's okay, she's a normal girl. She used to have no expression on the face. So what we do with this surgery is, get some muscle from somewhere from the body, put it in the face so she can have a, a small smile. And obviously that's my, that's my fight for, you know, that I fight for get the surgery. And I hope, you know, I can do this. But the first thing I will do is bring my family to California and I start living together. I have eight months living by myself and it's a lot hard. It's something that you don't want to do it. So I'm just, I'm just trying to live my dream and I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. The UFC is my home. Um, I noticed at the end, very impressive. The crowd loved it. The Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Where did you learn that one? You've got some uh, special tips before the fight. Yeah, I, when, I, when I'm fighting in, in, in a different country, I went, when, when I'm fighting Nashville, you know, it's the, it's the capital of the music. So the first thing that I was trying to get, get emotional, like, what's up, Nashville? They get, like, not to there, but here. I was like, hey, what's the thing over here? I, I, I asked to my boy, Jake Matthews, he's fighting the common event, and I was like, hey, bro, like, what's the shit right here? Like, what do I have to say after I win? And he was like, hey, if you see the Aussie Aussie, people's going to get nuts. So I was like, why not? I'm not in my country, so I will make happy these people right here. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel, I feel good doing that. Like, you know, we fight for the people that is watching. Those, those guys are paying for to see us, so I'm not here for a show a board fight. When I was in the ground, I wasn't holding. I was looking for the heel hook from my calf friends. I trained with 10 Planet Jiu Jitsu, so I'm a black belt, and wherever the fight goes, I will make damage on you. I know you're looking forward to spending time with the family, but uh, how soon do you want to get back in there? Is there anybody on your list that, you, that you'd love to see across the octagon for you? You know, this fight was in 145. I'm a 135er. So, like, uh, there's a couple fighters I would like to fight, but you know, I really don't like, I don't want to get emotional and start calling everybody out. I know my money is going to get me a good matchup. I would like to fight in, in Anaheim, in California, in that's January or February? Uh, somewhere there, so that's, if I'm not wrong, that's UFC 208. So that's right across the gym. So 
if I can fight for, for my new people, I would love to fight there. And I, I, I really don't care. Whoever is stepping there, I will go and do my job.